Bruce Willis, you can put down the beeper that you got when you did Armageddon because the United Nations is gonna take it from here. Bruce, keep the beeper on, please. Howdy folks, Trace here for your DNews Weekly Space Update. This week, the United Nations made an announcement that is designed to put us all at ease, though I guess whether it did or not depends on how you feel about the United Nations. The UN will now be leading the charge protecting us all from asteroids. Are you excited? Because I kind of am. At least somebody is doing something about this. Scientific American is reporting the United Nations is forming an international asteroid warning group who will explore near-Earth objects to see if they pose a threat. If so, the plan is to divert the rock from its planet-damaging course so we can survive and move on. The United Nations has delegations from 193 member states, and like any government, they debate and they discuss and they decide how to proceed. So we don't actually have a plan just yet, just the promise of a plan. Americans are kind of used to taking the lead. It's, you know, something we do. But according to Apollo astronaut Rusty Schweikert, no government in the world today has explicitly assigned the responsibility for planetary protection to any of its agencies. So this got me thinking. We're looking to save the world from asteroids, but what about other crazy space plans? Do we have any of those? Outside of the normal stuff, I mean. We're not really doing any crazy inspiring stuff anymore like we were in the 1960s. We're kind of in a defensive mode now. A NASA report titled, Would Contact with Extraterrestrials Benefit or Harm Humanity? A Scenario Analysis was commissioned to see what contact with an extraterrestrial intelligence, or ETI, would mean for humanity. These researchers break it into three categories, a beneficial, neutral, or harmful contact. The simple discovery of ETI would change the world. I mean, think religious upheaval, we're not alone anymore, and so on and so forth. And what if we do find them, and then they're indifferent, or dismissive? Or worse, what if they want to attack us, or enslave us, or eat us? What if they want to steal our resources? The scenarios in this analysis are all over the Hollywood blockbuster scene, but there are some real concerns. Stephen Hawking argues that we should stop all attempts to contact other civilizations now, because though they might be friendly, those other two options of neutral or harmful could really mess us up. Disease, destruction, and more, even unintentionally, could result. We don't even know. Space is dangerous. Asteroids are dangerous. Aliens could be dangerous. The Russian meteorite from earlier this year was a shot across our bow, and as Neil deGrasse Tyson recently said, if we get hit again 20 years from now, that's not bad luck. That's stupidity. Are you happy someone is taking steps to protect and plan for asteroids and aliens and other space dangers? Or is this some kind of colossal waste of government resources? There's a comment box below this video. Go ahead and go use that and click that subscribe button while you're at it. Thanks a lot for watching DNews today.